Hello and welcome to Cooking in the Kitchen with Boom Chang Records and DC Coast to Coast. Got a special guest today, travelling through the UK, Max Jury. Max, how are we doing? Good, thank you for having me. Oh, hey, it's welcome. It's lovely to hear the accent. Because you're not from around here, are you? No, no, I'm from Iowa. Iowa, right. Yeah, yeah. and you're just travelling over here or you've recently moved or what's the story? Um, I've, I've pretty much moved. I, um, I have a room and a flat in London that I'm renting out. Um, I just moved in on Saturday, actually. Yeah. So I'm kind of staying there indefinitely, but... It'll be a little bit different to Iowa, I would have thought, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot different. And a lot smaller? Uh, <laughs> Iowa's a lot smaller, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh, really? I thought the properties in London would be smaller to Oh, the properties. To. Oh, yeah, 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 the properties are smaller. I, oh, I was talking about the city, but... So what brings you over to the UK? Um, well, I have a record coming out, my first record, June 3rd. Yeah. And so I'm just kind of um, promoting it yeah. and touring it and, and doing all those fun things. Right. So you're part of the uh, coffee house sessions, is that right? I am, yeah. And how is that going? It's going really well. I've played my third and fourth one today yeah. um, here in Newcastle. Oh. And uh, yeah, it's been going really well. It's, it's, it's great exposure. Um, Early days, but has the audience been quite good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's... Responsive. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And, um, yeah, the universities have been cool and the audience has been cool. It's, it's, been, it's been a pleasant experience, totally. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your background, how you got into music. Sure. Um, well, I was always sort of into music growing up as a child. My parents weren't musicians, but, um, you know, I had a healthy record collection. And, um... Did they indoctrinate you with, like, various types of music, or did you just well, discover it as you went? I mean, a little bit. I, I discovered some things, but, you know, my dad would always play, like, old-school country and bluegrass around the house, and, and then also music from when he went to college, kind right. of like Elvis Costello and yeah. that kind of stuff from the late 70s and early 80s. But, um, so... And then my parents, you know, they had me involved in, in piano lessons, and, you know, as a kid, I, I was more interested in playing basketball. But by the time I was a teenager and needed to express my emotions in some way, <laughs> um, I kind of turned to music. So. Yeah. And you're a songwriter? I am a songwriter, yeah. A lot of my songs are sort of um, autobiographical, uh -huh. maybe twisted a little bit or romanticized. Yeah. But for the most part... thrown in. Yeah, there. exactly. Because, yeah, yeah. so, you know, real life can be a bit boring sometimes. But, but yeah, mostly it's mostly autobiographical. Excellent. Well, would you love to play this one? Yeah, absolutely. Tell us what it's about and what it's called. Um, this song is called Numb, and it's about um, kind of wanting to get out of Iowa, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, you've made the grid. You've got yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's come true, yeah. So. Well, I'll take it away when you're ready, man. Under the rain, I 
That was fantastic. Thank you very much. I hear a lot of influences in there, mind. Uh, well, what do you think? Well, I'm hearing uh, there's a bit of jazz in there. There's a bit of blues, what I'm hearing, from the chord progression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. There's I mean... a hint of Michael Jackson in one of the vocal passages there, but I really? don't know if you've actually picked that up enough. But that was just me interpreting ah, that, you cool. know what I mean? Yeah, well, I mean, I love, I love jazz, um, yeah. I love blues, and I love Michael Jackson, so I'm honoured that you Who knows? That. Who knows, yeah, it's fun, but what a beautiful song that was. Thank you very much. Yeah, so you get your inspiration from many places, or like you've just said, you like the jazz, you like the blues? Yeah, I mean, my music tastes are kind of all over the board. Yeah. Um, blues, jazz, country, Yeah. Um, you know, even some I've modern pop music. I found my travel in, like, America gives you all of that. It's an yeah. incredible place to pick up influence from, and there's so many quality musicians. I mean, what's your time been like when you've been in the States doing gigs and things out there? Oh, it's been great, and, you know, especially, well, especially getting into studios in America. Yeah. Um, the cool thing that I found is that, like, you know, you have, you go into, like, professional studios or kind of name brand studios, and obviously there's going to be really wonderful session musicians, but yeah. I found, too, that you know, just playing with people in kind of random towns, it's amazing to see, like, how spectacular the musicians can be. Because yeah. when we were doing the record, we, f we finished it in North Carolina at my friend's house studio. Perfect. And we called up randomly some guy we found on YouTube from a local church. Mm. And we were like, do you want to play maybe some guitar and stuff on this record? Yeah. And he came into the studio and he was like, you know, maybe the best musician I've ever seen in my life. And, you know, he's just... He's down there in North Carolina doing his thing. You know? What's he called? His name is Jackson Russell. Okay, right. He's great. Yeah, there's a lot of people down Charlotte Way as well, actually. Yeah, you know, yeah. Morningstar Church down there is renowned for top musicians who come from the secular side but gone into the church world as well, you know. Yeah. It's, a, it's a fantastic experience, I think. Tell us a little bit about your album. Yeah, cool. Um, well, like it was recorded in New York and London and finished in North Carolina, so it's kind of been all over the place. Um, Took about three months to record total. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it's how not... many songs are on it? Were they all um, kind of? Did you do some writing in the studio, or was it a bit kind of done? We did some writing in the studio. I think we cut about twenty songs, and then eleven songs made the album. So wow. have some B sides to spare if, yeah. if need be. So yeah. Yeah. it's better to have more than less. Yeah, exactly. What kind of instrumentation did you use on it? Um, there's obviously a lot of a lot of piano. Um, Strings, guitars, 
drums, percussion, bass, okay. um, gospel choir kind of stuff. So. And they all had a similar sort of feel to the first song we just heard there, did we? Or yeah, it kind of has that feel. Um, on record, the one I just played, Numb, has like these kind of big gospel choir backing vocals. Oh, wow. Kind of call and response in the chorus kind of thing. Sure. So, yeah. That all sounds fantastic. Well, listen, I want to hear a couple of songs. Yeah, in sure. In the second half. We're just going to go for a coffee break. Do you fancy coffee or something? Yeah, sure, why not? Excellent. Stay tuned, cooking in the kitchen. Come back soon. <laughs> 